Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the class. In today's class, we will be doing uh, exercise 39. Okay. Exercise 38, we have already completed in the previous class. Exercise 39, question number one is write the following in expanded form. Write the following in expanded EXPA and the expanded form. Number one, number A is 5.3. In expanded form, you can read as 5.3 or you can say 5 decimal 3 or 5 decimal 3 this is the expanded form or this one okay 5.3 or instead of point you can write decimal number b is Twelve point eight nine. You have to read. Okay, after a decimal, after a point, you have to read the digits individually. Eight nine. You have to read. Okay, don't say eighty nine. Twelve point eighty nine. It is not eighty nine. Okay, you have to read eight nine. So this is twelve. Twelve point eight. 9 you have to read 12.89 okay remember this after decimal after decimal we read we should should read digits individually individually not in a group okay not in a group not in a group this is very very important thing so 12.89 you have to read not 89 okay number c you have a 10.05 10.05 write it uh, 10.05 if I be 5 next next is 41.206 okay 41.206 after decimal after point you have to read the digits individually not in a group don't read 206 okay so you have to read 206 you have to read the digits individually remember that okay number e is this is zero answer is zero point 0 0.523 523 next number f this is your own task okay it is not there in your book i have given from my side Forty one point zero zero two eighty seven point nine one two zero point five two three and this is seven point zero nine. Okay. Now let's move on to another question. Okay, now question number two. Question number two is you refer your book for the question. Okay. Fill in the placeholders. Okay, fill in the placeholders 
we have to fill up the gap so okay number a is 0 0.94 is equals to 9 divided by box plus 4 divided by box this you have to fill this gaps you have to fill okay okay so this is your question okay so here it will be equals to 0 0.94 is equals to 9 upon this gap you have to fill you identify the position of 9 okay here so you have to count from this side this is units this is tens so 9 is in tens place so divided by 10 plus 4 divided by find the position of 4 here okay so units tens and hundreds so 4 is in hundreds plus so divided by 100 so you note this thing suppose if you have suppose you have 3 5 6 point 4 3 sorry 4 1 8 suppose if you have this 356 point 4 1 8 If you want to find the position of 6, then you have to count like this from here. Units, tens, hundreds. Okay, so 6 is in units place, 5 is in tens place and uh, 3 is in hundreds place. From point, you have to move towards the left. And if you uh, want to find the positions of this 4, 1 and 8, then you have to move from uh, point this side towards right. So this is in units place, this is in tens place and this is in hundreds place. Point is, okay. point is in units place, okay. Four is in tens place, one is in hundreds place and eight is in thousands place. And so on. So you note down this thing, okay, properly. So point is in units place here, nine is in tens place, so I have written ten here. And this four is in hundreds place, so I have written hundred here, okay. Number B, next question is 12 point, 12 point 5 3 is equals to 10 plus question mark ten plus question mark plus 5 divided by question mark this box you have to fill up okay plus 3 divided by 100 okay so it will be equals to 12.53 is equals to 10 plus this box in place of box how much you can put here you have 12 and 10 is already here plus 2 you have to do plus 2 gives 12 okay and then plus 5 upon position of or otherwise place value of 5 place value of 5 you have to find point is here so units tens 5 is in tens place so put 10 here plus 3 upon 100 3 upon 100 remains as it is okay next question Next question number C is question number C is one point zero six is equals to one plus question mark upon hundred. So one point zero six is equals to one plus divided by 100 this box you have to fill up how much you will put 0 no need to express okay just write 6 here 1 plus 6 
this six okay next question is Five point six zero five. Number D is five point six zero five is equals to five plus six question mark here plus five question mark here. Okay. So it implies five point six zero five is equals to five plus six upon box plus five upon box <coughs> excuse me so uh, find the place value of six point is in units place six is in tens place so put ten here and find the place value of five so units tens hundred and thousand five is in thousands place I was in thousands place so put thousand out here okay so with this question number two is completed now question number three let's move on to question number three okay question number three is write in short form five plus zero three plus zero point zero four okay this you have to write in short form so you have to do the addition that means you have to do the addition of these three numbers so five you write it after that you write this 0 0.3 this five means 5.0 you can write 5.0 okay next 0 0.3 next is 0 0.04 you have to add this plus Here you don't have anything, okay? You don't have anything, that means you can put zero out there. Here also you can put zero, otherwise you can simply do the addition without uh, putting zero. So this is four plus zero plus zero is four only. Okay, next zero plus three plus zero will be three and point you keep it on its place only. After that five plus zero plus zero is five. So it will be five point three four this type of addition addition of decibel numbers you have already done in previous class also okay so next is this 10 10 means 10.0 10 means 10.0 okay after that 2 means 2.0 you write it properly okay 2 just below 0 you write 2 2.0 0. plus 0. 0.1 0 0.1 next is 0 0.03 0 0.03 you keep the digits separately okay now do the addition addition plus above 3 you don't have anything so just write 3 here 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 plus 0 is 1 and point will come in its own position okay 0 plus 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2 plus 0 is 2 next 1 you don't have anything with 1 so just write down 1 here this is your answer okay next uh, question number c and d question number c and d of this question number 3 question number 3 c and d is your home task okay now let's move on to question number four okay question number four is write in place value chart and find the place value of the colored digits in each of the following so place finding the place values and place value chart we have done already done uh, in previous classes okay so you can try that also question number four you try it on your own okay so this much for today's class we will continue the remaining questions uh, remaining portion in the next class okay so exercise 39 is over uh, total you had four questions question number one two three and four now in next class we will do exercise 40 okay thank you